beef tartare on top of that, which has been mixed with some avocado, some more chestnuts and chives, and it's used with a spicy barbecue dressing. We have the sear grass-fed beef on top of that, which has our green dots, which are salsa green, and the white dots, which are smoked green. We also have a crispy garlic chip and some mustard seasoning. Now in the middle here are our crayfish tartlets. It is seared crayfish which we chopped up and then we mixed it with some pickled ginger, some sesame seeds and crayfish. And it's dressed with a spicy curry curry dressing. The green dots are aloos, the brown dots are ponzu gel, and the white dots are some miso mayonnaise. Now at the bottom are our olives. They are a blend of green olives with some capers and herbs. We blended that up and strained it. Once we've got the liquid, we froze it inside of the olive. Once it was frozen, we dipped it in some cocoa butter, and then we let it defrost. So it is completely liquid inside, so could you please use your spoons and be very careful when you eat it. Also, it's going to be messy, and I really don't want to mess with you guys, it's super easy to be I'm just going to put some olive oil on your olives, and we get this olive oil on the slate, and it's exclusive to us, and we do use it throughout the process. Now, when you eat the lime snack, can you please just squeeze onto the lime a bit just to get some of the juice, just to add an extra spiciness to it. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you so much. Yes, we did. Um, I was just wondering, is it possible for me to change from my mains to a vegetarian option? Alright, let's it? go to the dining room first. Okay. When you see the menu, you okay. decide to go. Okay. Okay, no problem. Yeah. So much. 
So it's pretty flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
matching ones, don't you think? You should. Oh, actually, I'm going to embroider to say the niece is on the back. <sighs> Thank you. 